Zoom.com slash projected image. I'm Robert Osborne. Our evening with legendary comedian B. Lilly continues now with the first film she ever made and her only silent movie, one she made for MGM in 1926. It's called Exit Smiling. She was 32 years old, her comedic genius already well known to live theater audiences in New York and London, but most Americans had never seen her, although they'd read about her and her zany wit and her funny performances on stage and at posh parties with the likes of pals such as Noel Coward and Gertrude Lawrence and other greats of show business at that time. So it was with this silent movie that finally folks across the country had a chance to enjoy B. Lilly's antics, at least a hint of them, since it is a silent film, so they weren't yet able to hear her speaking voice or hear her witty songs, which is always a B. Lilly specialty in the theater. In this movie, she plays a wardrobe mistress of a touring stage company, who also understudies various actors in the show. Now, she's firmly convinced she could be a glorious success if she was just given the chance. But what she doesn't realize is she's really a rotten actress, all of which leads to some very funny results. Now, in real life at this time, B. Lilly was officially Lady Peel. In 1920, she'd married Sir Robert Peel, a British baronet. They later separated but never divorced and Sir Robert died in 1934. B never remarried, so to the end of her life, 55 years later, she retained the title of Lady Peel. She even titled her autobiography, Every Other Inch a Lady. And although she seemed to take her status as an official lady seriously, she seemed delighted to know how it seemed to amuse everybody else. And by the way, not only is this next film B. Lilly's first movie, it's also the first feature for the great Franklin Pangborn became famous for playing very fussy, nervous, easily flustered hotel clerks, bank inspectors, and cruise directors. So here also with Mary Pickford's brother, Jack Pickford, from 1926, Exit Smiling. Mm -hmm. 